Hey guys, and welcome back to the War of the Eastern Emperors with the Redox family. And of course, uh, me, NG Paradox. Last time, we tried to look around for some alliances because the Emperor of Yeti has attacked our own High Kingdom of Nefer, and there wasn't many good choices. We didn't have many possibilities, also because I did um, kind of, you know, just go off from one of my alliances. It's likely a lot of people would not trust our High King Byron the Eloquent, so we may be in this alone. We may have to try and deal with ourselves. Now, they don't, they don't have an impossible amount of men. They do have a lot of men, but uh, we may be able to pull out of this. I'm not completely sure, but we may be able to pull out of this somehow. Um, if we try and look to maybe capture him or something or kill him, that could obviously help. Looks as though it's not a good chance there. His heir is not actually his daughter. His heir would be this guy. So we could try and kill him, but 34, it's not a big difference either there. So that probably won't help. Let's see if we can try and catch, kidnap him. That might be useful. Let's see if actually people would help us out in that. Do apologize about my mouse if you see things weird with my clicking, because my mouse seems to be broken. It seems to click everything twice sometimes when I click it. So do apologize for that. I've got 5%, 9%, 7%. Ooh, 9% again. Okay, it's it's adding up, you know. But if I've got to pay each of them, it's going to cost me a bit of money. So if we add it up, 9, 7, 16. Then we've got, you know, 25%, um, 30%. Then with that, it's 58%. And the Spy Master, probably about 60 something percent It's still nowhere near what we need. So we probably will not be able to kidnap him, but we could uh, potentially spy on him if I wanted to. Uh, at the moment we're going for rulership focus. I'm not sure if, yeah, he's not really a spy, is he? His, in his intrigue is pretty bad, yeah. He's maybe not someone to spy upon them. Okay, we'll leave that then as it is. You know, the sort of role play capacity. And we better raise our men. I may have to try and bring out some mercenaries. I, I This is going to be a difficult fight. We're definitely going to play tactically. I'm going to have to try and get rid of these raiders for now. Bring these guys down here. The rest of these will actually just go straight to here. The rest of these guys, so we don't have many men overall. We have a lot here. Let's try and bring them into the center. And we'll try and attack this area first. So we'll bring them back. We'll try and attack that area first. Because we've also got this as well. And we've got this. And we've got the area down here. Um, oops. Oh, I'm taking them down there. Uh, Jing Chi is also in that, yeah, so we've got the bottom part, this part, basically, uh, Ling Chi is the only part not attacking us right now. He's the only one, he's got 18,000 men, if I could have brought him to my side, that would have been really good, but again, sadly, he has no one that we could potentially marry unless we kill someone potentially, which we possibly might have a chance to, but yes. Uh, do we have money we can borrow? I still need to repay the loan. That's not good. I still need to repay the loan that I took out before. So we can't actually get the money from that. I could try and get a loan from a vassal. Let's, let's do that for 20 prestige. Let's try and get a loan there. Employ the golden company. I would need a lot more gold. A lot more dragons to call the golden company. But we could get a small group of mercenaries. Now with 386 gold, if we get some money from a vassal, maybe that could be 450. We could maybe get these guys, you know, 2,250, but really, at the end of the day, it's not much, is it? That's really not much when it all comes down to it. So, I'm yeah, when we're talking like, you know, 20-something thousand men versus 40-something thousand men, 2,000 men is not a big difference. Um, I think we should go send this guy a uh, plot power increase. We should go send them to there. Let's just concentrate on that for now, just in case we can get that up. Uh, maybe get some people to not like him. So, so descent. Yeah, go there, so descent. Try and get some people not to like him. Let's go with that. Master of Arms. He's not great. Oh, Brian Redox. Look at him. Skilled fighter. 27 years old. Not looking too bad. I think he should be our Master of Arms, actually. There we go. Um, I don't care what they think. Train children. 11% there. Brian Redox. He's a family member. You know, he's going to do it. We know he's going to do a good job. He's a dox, after all. We'll lower the speed. Um, on my obligations and pride you with a loan. 300. Oh, my Septon. You beautiful. See the faith. The faith of the seven can see the doxes will bring in the faith over to the east. They can see that and they would like to support me. I'm almost you know, 50 years old 
This is the, the war for the emperors. There cannot be two emperors. We all know this. Now, with that type of money, we could definitely get a good mercenary... Well, a couple of mercenary companies in. But how many? Probably this, this, this. But that'll cost us a lot of money over months. Which I'm not sure we'd be able to afford. That'd be like 525 gold. You still have 150 something left, maybe. It might not be enough, though, for the... This will probably be a long war. So I'm not sure if that will work. Actually, this army is about to be attacked. So how about we just delete them? It's only a few men. It's not that many men. We'll move them to there. Yeah, I'm not sure if that would actually work for us, even with the money. If I can maybe get another loan? Ah, oh, if I have a wealth greater than 450. Okay. I was going to say, if we got another loan, we could try and employ the Golden Company. But that's not going to work. Okay, if we have a... Uh, if we have a greater wealth than 600... We could actually send to go get them. Have to have at least 10,000 men and cost over 900 dragon. Maybe we could see if we could get, you know, if there's a chance that they would actually work for us. How about we send them? Who do we have as our, I think it's our Master of Laws or Hand of the King. One of them two does go. And Hector is our best man, actually, apart from uh, Gook. Uh, this guy... Chiswick is probably better just overall, isn't he? But he is one of our, you know, ma he is the Lord of Trader Town, so we want to keep him happy as a vassal, so let's keep him as that. And we will send him, just just in case, you never know. Go. Try to employ them. I don't think it's going to work, but we need to find out if there's a chance. We see, we see like 300 more gold then. And we are actually still making money. I could sell slaves. You managed to arrange to uh, meet with someone. He is attractive, so I'd like a bit of money here. 75 gold for an attractive man. He can be used the breed. It's a good amount. Uh, mission to Pichu, the minority population will be converted to the faith of the seven. There we go. See, now that is why the Septon is sending us money. Because we're able to do things like that. So look at that. Our main piece here is now done. We've got... I would like to connect this up. So let's try and get this one converted as well. Then this whole area is connected up. So that'll be quite nice. The recent conversion upset people. We got the 75 gold. There we go. We're, we're getting there. Maybe we can, you know, employ the Golden Company. Hmm. I was hoping, I thought it'd be kind of cool to get the Golden Company when we went west. You know, it's for the, you know, Westeros. That would have been kind of cool. We'd bring them back with the Redox family. But yeah. Um, this guy was captured in battle. Okay. This guy just arrived at my court. There's Maester Eric. Stormlander and whatnot. Now, can we raise the men here? Because there were some, uh, you know, raiders there at the time. Once those raiders move, maybe we can get them. Okay, now we've got 14,000 men here. We should probably try and take out some of these smaller armies. Let's make sure we have the best commanders. This is going to be a hard-fought fight, and I don't know if we can win. But if we lose this, we lose a big patch of land. So, I don't want to lose it. I really don't. Let's send Cheswick. Let's send him. A lot of people we've got here. We're going to have to put some terrible people in, but you know, it has to be done. Who are our best then? So we've got Urel, the Engar uh, person. There you go. And we've got uh, Fok Bofard. Okay. And then the third one is Abdo, one of the Jogos Nai. So an interesting mix there of the different people that we have, actually. That's pretty cool. That's actually kind of cool, that mix of people that we've got. We best send them after someone. Now, do we take out the 5,000? The 16 found. We need more men to take out this army here. We're going to need all our men to take out these two armies. Now, only one army is moving right now. Only one of them is moving right now. We could probably take out this one. They're moving this. So let's move there and stop them. Nope. They're still going to go. Okay, now they're coming to attack. So I'm going to stay here. We're going to put them together. 17,000 men. They're not actually moving. They're not actually his army, I don't think. See Cho. So that's from this guy. So he's in his own war. So those men are not actually theirs. So that's good. So these two big armies are pretty separate right now. We should take out one at a time. There we go. Let's go take out this guy. They've got low morale and stuff. What's this? Who are we fighting here? Oh, because they're moving. Okay, so they plan to go take out army there. If we move there, though. 28th of August. 17th, 16th. Uh, 29th. They will stop. Let's go after them now again. They're going to move back. Okay, so they're going to move back there. 
These guys are moving. The 4th of September. 10th. So, okay, they're going to escape. So we want to stop them, don't we? Okay, let's go there then. I can see a few men. They might join the 6,000 men further down, but they wouldn't get them in time, I don't think. We'll let them run away. We'll go back for them. During a visit to North Point, Lord Savoon the Wicked and his entourage were accosted by brigands. Hmm. He can hardly be held responsible, of course. How can you hold him responsible for such an event? He couldn't control what happened. Silly people. Um, but yeah, we've got 900 men we couldn't pull, call upon. Those guys going down there. We may need to pull them out because... 3,000 men. Uh, they, could, they could probably hold their own against the 5,000. And once they get together, we'll bring them back. Now, we're not going to be fighting them. Their men just seem to be faster than mine. Their men do just seem to be faster than mine. I find it difficult to actually get a hold of one of his armies to be able to attack them. He's inherited that piece of land. Okay, so that guy just died. Interesting. How did he die? Suspicious circumstances. Hmm. Well. Well, well, well. What happened here then? Okay, well, okay, let's go a quick look at this. I don't think anything's changed. In fact, yeah, nothing's changed at all. 28%. Look at that. If we could get someone like that, just someone with a good amount, that could be very useful. With that guy dying unexpectedly, we now need someone to be an advisor. We will go with Benefin Redox. Or Voon Say. Let's go for Benefin. He's a Redox. He's a High Lord. He's my cousin. We'll put him as that one. Okay, so we're going to move down there. You guys still waiting on people. The betrothal can happen. And the Tyrell will marry my son. So there we go. That is correct. Yes, just trying to make just trying to make sure, yeah, it's correct. Yeah, she had a daughter. So we need her to die. That's what we want. But we'll do it. Uh the custody for too long. I accept your offer ten gold. I gain ten gold. I mean, might as well take it, you know. We haven't heard back from the Golden Company, so we don't know what happened with that. So I'll have to wait and see. Then see if I see group Bannerman. Um, I hereby decree that section of the Greenfield shall be determined by primogeniture. Okay. I see. I see indeed. Okay. Uh, nothing too big for us there. Money-wise, we are losing money all the time now. Peace be with you. We've accepted it. Good, good, good. So that is now him, Lord Paramount Paxter. Non-aggression pact? Yeah, he won't do it. Yeah, they, they, they're not happy with us. Untrustworthy alliance breaker, yeah. So that, that, that would probably stop from getting any alliance anyway. So yeah, it was kind of bad timing actually, wasn't it? And what's that? Now it looks as though they're coming down to attack. So I'm actually going to go attack them. Prince Cedric Redox and Lady Alistar have gone married. There we go. Together the Redoxes and Tyrells have formed together. Now they've taken that and they're staying still. We're going to add these men to ours. There's no, there's a hundred men over here still to add up. So we'll send them that way. We'll get these guys down there with some That's 5,000 men we can take care of. But we know they've like 40,000 men. So it's still not perfect. You know, 38,000 men he has at least. At least. That's not including his little vassals and stuff. So it's still not great. 8th of November. It's going to take us a while to get there. Uh, he died of cancer. Are they going to go attack these guys over here then? Now, we have planes. They have slightly less men. There's a few men coming down. 29th of October. Those guys would be there. They would have a slight advantage, but not much. Now, the third best people are Chiswick, uh, Voon, and Hugh. Or Poliver. And we'll go with Hugh. There we go. But yeah, we'll just make them go around, I think. Yeah, we'll have them fight, I think. It's not a big difference. Plus, I don't think we could escape. Even if we wanted to. And actually, it's one day. If I just moved them one more day earlier, we could have attacked them here. That would have given these guys time to get there. Yep, that would have been the better thing to do. I'm going to have to hope then that we can get there. 8th of November, we'll jump on in. We've got a lot of men down here, though. I'm afraid to see... Uh, I don't see what we can gain by fighting for you in your wars. We'll wait for better employment. No, the Captain General of the Golden Company would not listen 
to a redox, apparently. He does not see a point in going to the east. They have no no reason to come over. He doesn't think I can afford them. And he's right. He's right. I can't afford them. We may just have to hire the mercenaries, as I said before. We need to go take out these. Okay, put them together. Very similar men. In fact, just, just put the best men. Just put our best. We need to put our best men then, don't we? They're going to be up into a fight like that. 12,000 men down there. That one we got to take care of as soon as possible. Yeah. Uh, 10,000 Yeeti men over here. It's start, the, the armies are starting to get together. And it looks as though they were able to handle it. I will not send the men in to help because I don't think they're going to need us. They're going to Tenchu. So the 7,000 men are actually traveling up this way. And I'm traveling down there to take out these 200 men. Looks like they're going to move. We did defeat them. Okay, so we won the first battle, but that, that's one of many. Uh, how about you stick here and just take this back? There you go. Take these back. Don't let them have war score then. Uh, a white piece, really, for me, probably best. One of your slaves has been good. Okay, yep. Get him in. I don't... Yeah, I don't think um, enforcing demands would be that important. You know, getting the money would be great. All lands held in the name of the Bronze Emperor, which are legally part of the High Kings, are returned. I don't think we would really gain much from that. Yeah. A white piece is probably fine for us. If we have to. You know, if we have to go for that, a white piece is probably best for us. This is the one from our Crusader Kings too. The one who first attacks. And you always get that slight advantage there, because the other person then can't take anything away from you. They have to declare their own war just to take something away from you. Now, how many men defend this? Okay, we can send these 4,000 men into there. They're going to go take that. 1,000 more men, so that could be helpful right now. Take that back. Okay, done. 19,000 men down here. There's 10,000 men going to our capital. Now, I need to try and maneuver. There's 19,000 men over here as well. Oh my. Oh my, yes. Okay, there's... Okay, let's move these guys south, and we'll move them south. We'll move them with them. 23,000 men can take out 19,000. We're going to have to put all our men together to take out each of their 19,000 men armies. That has to be the way. Yeah, it's the only way that I can see this going down. Because they seem to have, like, three big armies. As long as they keep them separate and we bring all our men together, we could put up a fight. Uh, the rightful seat you'd like to take back. Ooh, actually, this could be good. He wants to go take the Golden Empire... 125 gold. Now, my gold obviously is important, but I don't think bringing a mercy is going to be that useful right now. So actually, having another war against them could be good. And, yeah, I think it's probably best then. I Probably best to support them then. Go on then, we'll support you. We'll support you against our enemy. An enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's, that's what we think. As the old saying goes. Yeah, those are definitely both our enemies. Yeah, because Ling Chi the only one that's not. Now, don't think your family die. Because if any of the, the husbands or wives are dead, we could just marry in. But apparently not. Uh, a bit of maester should be made that. Now, our maester currently is Mala, I think. Yeah, and he says he's better. Okay, fine. You are better. We'll put you in charge then. Now, idle council member. Okay, just do that. Just continue what he was doing. Why would you not have that just done automatically? Now, we can't get the golden cup. We can not do much else yeah last resort would be the sell our slaves i think i would love it that we can get enough support to just assassinate him or sorry kidnap him would be better we could use the money in that way but currently right now does not look like that's an opportunity for that i'm actually going to cancel it because it doesn't look as though our spy master is actually working i think maybe if you did it start it before it doesn't work no, no, it, it still is exactly the same. Okay. 33% for the princess. She's not... Oh, no, she is the heir. Okay, let's, let's see if we can kidnap her. That'll be 50%. That could give us a white piece. Potentially. Let's see if we can get the white piece then. That's all I need. 10% this time. 7. 17%. Uh, 24%. 24. Uh, 30%. That will give us 63%. Still no way near the amount that we would need or want. So, okay. Neither of them are going to work out then. We'll just keep to our plans then. So you move down this way. 
join up with them. Then we'll attack these guys. But 15,000 men are coming this way. It seems that Reign of Redux, the spy master of Lord Benefin of Kayakainaya, has been sent to the Bleeding Shore to investigate rumors of a plot. I really don't care if she finds out. Why would I care? Okay, they're actually splitting up. One's going this way, 2,000 men. The others are going up here. Ooh, this is not good. Not good, not good. Okay, pull back. Pull back. Both go back up. Maybe we need to come over here. They are going to the capital right now. An enemy host approaches our capital. 4,000 men are defending. What do we do? Hi, King Byron. This, this is the first actual... When you think about it, this is kind of the first big challenge we've had since we became the Redoxes. Like, we, we've attacked other people, we've taken risks and stuff, but this is kind of the first big, major threat where it seems as though actually they have a lot more men than we do, and we could be in trouble. And uh, the castle's impregnable. We will be safest here. I could do that. But what does he think? He is proud. Um, send my family to hide in. Uh, I cannot blah 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 blah. I will take my family and hide. Would cost me money. I could send my family though. I do have a lot of kids. They are young kids. Send my family away. I think he would possibly do. Maybe not him and his family. Cause he's, I think he's too proud to himself run away. But send his family. There's no reason why he wouldn't do that. So I, I think he'd probably send them away. Because he doesn't obviously want his kids to be captured. So it would make them. Actually my daughter can get married now. That's a good point. My daughter actually could get married. And give us a new alliance. There are the Jogos Nye. Her son doesn't have a claim, and I'm not sure if he'll even get a claim uh, from the Mistress of Maya, which is a, a mighty shame. That would have been nice. But yes, uh, going back down there, but she has a son, so that one will always be first. So far. But then again, she has no claims to push anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Actually, in that regard, there's no one for her to really marry, is there? Yeah, there's actually not many people she could actually marry that might be useful. Okay, let's send let's send them away then. Because say hey, if we send them away, they can't get married. My son did just get married, so that's fine. She's actually disinherited though. Ooh, but she still has that strong claim on the reach. But obviously, her brother and the family maybe were a little bit upset with her. For marrying to an outsider, possibly. Um, even though technically we are Westeroses, but, you know, we have made our own kind of settlement. But, yeah. Because we're not going to marry her. We're not going to marry her brother just yet. Yeah, so let's send him away, then. Because that's always the thing you worry about when you send him away, is the fact you can't undo a marriage. Because that could that could destroy your possibilities for survival. Uh, Neff is in the state of war, which is in the Ravens. They're surely honor the obligations, which I'm sure they will. Uh, the Rebels have been defeated by them. Thank you. <laughs> There we go. Thank you, thank you. But we need to take this out one by one. That's what we need to do. That's 26,000 men. 12,000, 12,000 here. Well, if we bring, actually, if we bring these guys here then. Okay, we're going back here. We're going to go back here. We're going to put them together. Then we're going to send these men to here. Because if they go to help, it'd be pretty even. But we'd be there already. So we might actually have the slight advantage there. Because they'd all be beaten up, and the morale would be low, and then they'll come in with more morale, but the morale would still be low, hopefully. But now there's 21,000 men. Okay, and we want to go for the 7,000 instead, then. Okay, let's just, bring the, let's just bring the men together. Wait, who's moving this way? Oh, they're moving that way. Well, at least they're not taking our capital, then. Yeah, I thought that would happen. We're going to suffer attrition. That's why I kind of wanted to move them back. But I wasn't sure if it would be okay or not, but there we go. 20th of June. Let's get rid of these. My cousin is supposed to either get married, marry as you please. Yeah, we have to go for this one first, I think. We'll go for this one. Um, then, hopefully, maybe these guys will jump in. And we might be able to take them out as well, because we have 23,000. And hopefully, we can kill enough of them first. That we have now just lost a few men. Hopefully, we don't lose more before we move. Okay, we should be okay then. 20th of June. Okay, bring them together. Put the best men. They are the best men from what I remember. Yep, and we'll move them in. Let's go, go, go. They might not be able to get in time. These guys might move away. But at least we're making moves. That's, that's what's important right now. We've not made many moves. We need to make an attack. Take out some men. Lower their numbers. Because right now they have the advantage based upon numbers. And they're moving already. There we go. 
Damn. We're so far away. But being a bit closer could give us a chance to attack one of them. Now, they're going to suffer attrition. I'm actually going to increase the speed for a second. Now, these guys are actually moving in. 24th of August. 29th. They will escape. Then these guys will join. This is plains and no river. We would have the advantage. Then they might come back. They are coming back. <sighs> this is a difficult choice, isn't it? Do we go for the attack? Because we could just keep going. 18, they'll get there about the same time. Yeah, we wouldn't even kill any of them. Okay, let's not do it then. Let's, let's, let's swap in for these guys. So we'll move in here then. Then we'll attack these guys like I originally wanted to. Ah, oh, this is just a mess right now. Okay, they're going there. You stay there, please. They're going to... So they're actually coming up this way from where we're moving from. That's fine. I'll let them do that. Bloody gates use the favor. Okay, we've moved here. They're staying there. And I would like to attack this one. If we can. Now they're going to move, so I'm going to go attack this one instead. They're probably going to move. Now where are these guys? These guys are going to Wan T. Wan T is down this way. So they're, they're out the way as well. They won't get in our way. So we'll tap them. They're, run yeah, they're running away, so it took them a while to get back if they want to go help. Which they do look like they want to. These guys won't be able to get down there in time either. Hopefully we can win this battle. The Emperor is here. The Bronze Emperor is in this fight. Come on, capture him. Ah, oh, it's not. My brother-in-law. <laughs> well, there you go. My brother-in-law was captured. I mean, that. I mean, we won the battle. You know, and now we can go take out these guys as well. So our maneuvering has given us now the good position. And there we go. We are go oh, they've escaped again. They've escaped. That's a shame. It would have been nice to have got them here. But we can take this back. But I'm pretty happy with that. 4%. It's going to take a while to be able to take our capital. They've taken this, but we've made them lose quite a few men, actually. Overall, what's he on now? Let's have a quick look. 20,000 men. Now, obviously, his vassals are adding a lot more men to that, but no, I, I actually think we could win this. If he keeps maneuvering like this, I think we could win. But they'll have to wait till next time, guys. Hopefully, next time, we got the war started. We got the war rolling. We have the plan. It seems to be going the way we want it to. We got our generals. Byron will not lose. Byron Redox. He has succeeded in every part of his life. You know, I remember remember when he became king? Or when he became Lord, you know, from his father? We inherited from Lord Parry. Things did not look great. Parry, you know, changed religion. He left the realm in chaos and left a young boy in charge. And Byron has succeeded in every single part that he, you know, has been laid out before him. All the plans laid out by previous Redoxes he has fulfilled. He's doing a good job. He's doing a good job. Sadly, he I don't think he'd be the one taking us west because he's a bit old. I think his son could potentially be the one, Prince Cedric, if things go correctly with his loving wife. If he can get a baby with her, there's a good chance. There's a good chance he or his son could be the one. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye, bye, bye.